General Science, Standard 6, Chapter 10, Force and Types of Force. Observe and discuss. Will a boat move ahead unless pushed with the help of an oar? Who exerts force to move a bullock cart forward? What makes the ball move during a game of football? How does its direction change? Will the wheel go forward if it is not pushed with a stick? When we kick the football coming in our direction towards the goal, we apply force. In day-to-day -day life, we do many actions such as lifting, pulling, riding a bicycle and stopping it at times, pushing a load, squeezing or bending something and driving vehicles. It is necessary to apply force for doing all these actions. Force is applied to an object to pull it or push it in any manner. No object changes its position on its own. Force is required to move an object. Force is used to change the direction of an object in motion or to stop it. Can you tell? What happens when you hold the two ends of a spring and pull them apart? What happens when a blacksmith hammers a red hot piece of iron? Force is necessary to change the shape of an object. Types of Force Muscular Force in all the actions shown in the picture, the movements take place with the help of the bones and muscles in the body. The person in the picture is lifting the weight by using muscular force. The force applied with the help of muscles is called muscular force. Mechanical force we use different machines for doing many tasks. Muscular force is used for running some machines. Some machines are run by using electricity or fuel. Machines like the latter are called automatic machines because a mechanical force is used here. For example, sewing machine, electric pump, washing machine, mixer, etc. The force applied by means of a machine is called mechanical force. Gravitational force If an object is thrown upward by applying force, it reaches a certain height and calms down again. Why is this so? Why do fruits on trees fall to the ground? The earth pulls all the objects towards itself. The force applied by the earth to pull objects towards itself is called gravitational force. In the past, Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravitation in the 17th century the Earth's gravitational force acts in a direction opposite to that of an object moving upwards. Hence, the speed of that object goes on decreasing till in the end it becomes zero. Then the object starts falling down instead of going up any further. While falling, its speed goes on increasing all the time due to gravitational force. Let's try this. Take a small stone and a bucket full of water. Drop the stone into the water from a height of about 20 cm. You will hear the sound of the stone dropping in the water. Now drop the same stone into the water 
from a height of about 100 cm. You will hear its sound again. What is the difference in the sounds in the two actions above? What can we conclude from this? The actions of lifting a sack are shown in the picture. One sack looks empty, the other one is full. What difference do you notice in the way the two sacks are lifted? The gravitational force on the empty sack is less. That is to say, it weighs less. The gravitational force on the bigger sack is greater. In other words, the bag weighs more. Greater force must be applied to lift a greater weight. Do you know, to weigh an object, it is hung from the hook of a spring balance. The suspended object is pulled downwards by the force of gravity. At the same time, the force of the tension in the spring constantly pulls the object upwards. The object comes to rest when the tension in the spring and the gravitational force on the object become equal. In this position, the scale on the spring balance shows the gravitational force acting on the object which is the weight of the object. The gravitational force acting on an object is called the weight of that object. Find out and discuss. The gravitational force operates between the sun and the planets in the solar system. Because of this, the planets revolve around the sun. At the same time, gravity also operates between planets and their satellites. Then why don't all the planets and satellites fall towards the sun? Magnetic force Place a magnet on a table. Take a big iron nail towards the magnet. It sticks to the magnet. Now hold the magnet upright in the air, away from the nail. What happens? The force exerted by a magnet is called magnetic force. Frictional force when a carom piece is flicked lightly, it slides over the carom board but stops at a certain distance. A ball rolling over a flat ground stops at a certain distance. Why does this happen? When two surfaces rub against each other, the force of friction comes into play. It always acts against the direction of motion. When a brake is applied while riding a bicycle, it stops after running a short distance. How does the brake work? Between which parts is friction produced? Try this. Take two pieces of smooth paper and two of sandpaper and rub them against each other. What do you notice? The smooth surfaces can be easily rubbed against each other because the force of friction between them is less, while rough surfaces cannot be easily rubbed against each other because the force of friction between them is much greater. It is possible for us to walk on the ground only because of the force of friction. If there is no friction, we would slip and fall. For example, we are very likely to slip while walking on an oily or wet floor. Why is a wooden plank laid down for pulling out a car which is stuck in mud? A force of friction is generated between the wheel and the wooden plank laid down under the car. Hence, it can be pulled out from the mud. 
in short the force of friction can either be decreased or increased as desired electrostatic force spread some pieces of paper on a table rub a piece of thermocol or an inflated balloon against silk cloth and bring it near these pieces rub a plastic comb against dry hair and repeat the above activity rub a peacock feather between two pages of a notebook and bring it near your fingers what do you see in the above activities the pieces of paper hair and the peacock feather are seen to move why does this happen static electricity is produced on materials like rubber plastic and ebonite due to friction the force exerted by such electrically charged materials is called electrostatic force combined forces while an action is taking place various types of forces act on the object in question you might have seen a roller coaster or the juggling of a sailboat on the seashore a variety of forces act together in these cases to obtain more information about this type the words trick science in google search on the internet what we have learnt force is required to bring about any action force is necessary for making an object move to change the direction of motion and also to change the shape of an object there are various types of forces such as muscular force mechanical force gravitational force magnetic force frictional force and electrostatic force